it's been a while. I haven't done a thrifting video in years, I'm pretty sure. So today, I did a little thrift haul, and I'm gonna show you what I got. And I'm gonna try it on. But first, you're coming along with me for the journey. So let's take it back to a couple days ago, and let's go to Valley Village. Hi there, welcome to Starbucks. We'll be with you in just one moment. Okay. I'll get a grande coffee frappe, please. Grande coffee frappe, yeah. Um, with uh, soy milk. Grande coffee frappe with soy milk. Yeah, sounds good. Oh my phone. Wow, it looks so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you. You too. Let's try this. Mm. So good. Anyways, we're going thrifting. Let's go. It has been forever and I'm happy to be back with a thrifting video. I spent three hours in this value village and I left having spent around 80 bucks. I'll show you the haul after. There was a lot of clothes in this place. I'm in the suburbs and I'm used to thrifting in downtown Toronto, which is wildly chaotic. This was one of the calmest thrifting experiences I've had in a while and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't know what I was looking for, but I was picking up everything. I found those cool glasses. I did not take them. I found this really cute top. I did take this, you'll see it later. And I also was looking for some basic tanks and items like that. Oh, and some art. I like French art and this was giving me the vibe that I have in my room, but I didn't end up getting it. I forgot how chill it was the thing in the suburbs. Like, I can leave my purse unattended. I can like have space. It's different out here. A thrifting tip I have is to look in every single section, even if you feel like it's irrelevant to you. For example, look in the plus size section, even if you're a size two, because your size might be there, but somebody just mixed it up in the clothing there. Go to the kids section, go to the furniture section, even if you don't have a home, go to the book section, because you never know. People put things everywhere, and you would be surprised what you will find. Trust me, it's worth your time. That's why when I thrift, I dedicate at least two hours to my thrifting, and I always go alone. So right here, I was just looking for some dresses. I know it's the end of summer basically, but I just wanted some really cute pieces. So I found this item right here that I wasn't really sure about. It looks cute. It's giving me like early 2000s movie, um, she's all that vibe. This skirt, I didn't get this skirt and I kind of regret it because I had a really, really cool material that I could have like taken and altered and sewn into something else. The skirt was too big for me, but I would have created something else out of it. This dress here was really cool. It was like vintage Le Chateau. Is Le Chateau a Canadian brand? It sounds, I mean, it's French, so I'm assuming it's Canadian, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, this was me just shopping around for some dresses, showing you guys some of the pieces that I picked up. And you're gonna see a little bit more of these items later, depending on if I got them or not. Lately, I've had a really hard time finding purses at the thrift stores. I don't know why. I just feel like they're all ugly, <laughs> all of them, even this one. I don't know why I picked it up. But what I did find is some vintage Juicy Couture jeans for $6. Why? I don't know. You know when you find an item in the thrift store and you're like shaking and you, you feel like someone's going to snatch it away from you? Yeah, I had them like hidden under things in my cart after because I was like, I will not let these jeans leave my sight. <laughs> but I was feeling good for finding them. I looked for some more jeans and then I went to the mirror to try some stuff on because as we know, Value Village has not yet brought back the change rooms and probably never will. Here is me as my future self regretting some of the decisions that I made. I did not get this jacket and I kind of wish I did. Skirt. This skirt is a really, really cute one. I was just wearing the worst outfit ever to try things on. Like, I really couldn't see the vision with these flowy ass pants underneath everything I was wearing. So. Note to self, wear a little one piece like bodysuit next time or something. Like, what is this? This looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, but you see the vision, right? You see the vision? I kind of, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I was feeling extremely indecisive on this particular day. I could not make up my mind. I don't know what it was. I think it's because I was on my period. I don't know. I regret not getting this vest. I do. I loved this vest and I feel like I could have sewn it to fit me a little better, but. 
I did not get it. I also didn't get this top, which I kind of regret too, but it was Romwe. So I was like, you know what? I could probably just buy it on Romwe for like $2, you know? This one is very cute. It's Aritzia, but it has a little grease stain. I don't know. It's one of those where you're like, is it going to come out? Is it not? Is that why they donated it? So yeah, you'll see if I got that one or not. This one here, I almost got, but I was like, is this cultural appropriation? I don't know. So I just decided to play it safe and not get it, but it was really cool. Like it kind of, it kind of popped off, you know, I liked it a lot. And this white shirt, I think I already told you guys, I did get it. So if you guys are ready, I will show you what I left with. This is one of those that when I bought it, I was like, I might hate this later. And I think I might hate it now. <laughs> it is giving like Y2K realness, but like it's also like I was growing up in that era. So I don't know. It's kind of given church. I would wear this to church. I did need a good church dress. So you know what? This might be the fit for church. This is the dress. It was $18, which honestly, that might sound cheap to some, but I find it ridiculous. It's Value Village. It is not a brand new dress. So yeah, this is it. $18, Le Chateau. Okay, I think I like the dress better like this. What do we think? Do we like this dress? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, this one. Same vibe, it's from the same store, Le Chateau, $18 as well. I think I like it. This part in the middle, let me show you. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> Not me being PG-13. I don't know what the heck this is, but I am going to cut that out because it looks ridiculous. Also, I think it's supposed to go like this, but I don't like that. So yeah, or maybe like one of these, I don't know. Um, also, I did like a little asymmetrical vibe over here, but it actually just like evenly hangs. So I feel like I can work with this one. I don't hate it. I don't love it though. So let's disregard how I've styled this, but this is one of the vests that I picked up. It's just like a sheer beaded vest, which I find really cool. I don't know how I'll style it yet, but I do know that there's a lot of potential with it. This is not the way that I would wear it. Just please keep that in mind. I just wanted to put a bronzer in so you guys could see like that it's matched. You guys could see the pattern. I think it's really cool. And then I also got this mini skirt, which is Zara actually. It is the miniest of mini skirts. It's tiny. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to wear this without having a whole coochie out, but I'll find a way to make it work or I just won't wear it. It was so cheap. I think this one was $8 and this was $5, I think. I love this skirt. This is a really cool shape and pattern. I think it's perfect for like business casual, for work. I mostly got this for work. I feel like I can style it many ways, rewear it many ways. I feel like it's one of those statement skirts that kind of go with everything. Very comfortable. I really like it. I think this was I think it was like $13, which felt kind of pricey, but it's a nice skirt and it's really good quality, so I felt like it was worth it. But yeah, I'm pairing it with this black tube top. I already own this, it's from Aritzia. It was like $11 on sale. This top I love. It goes with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it to the office. Wilfred by Aritzia, I think it was like nine bucks or something. These jeans were the win of the day. These are vintage Juicy Couture jeans. For six dollars, seis dólares, crazy. They fit me perfectly, which is rare. Jeans don't ever fit me perfectly because I'm tall and skinny, so it's very difficult to find jeans that fit me. That's why I have to thrift them. Six dollars for vintage Juicy Couture. There's like a little juicy emblem at the back. I'll show you guys. Can you guys see it? I don't know, but um, yeah, I was like, what, what? So this was my favorite purchase of the day. And I would wear this actually like as a fit. Like I would wear this together, put a belt on, call it a day. Very easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So right now I'm working on curating a wardrobe filled with basics. So this was important to me. That black skirt was important to me. The top that you just saw was important to me because I want a bunch of pieces that you can style in many different ways. You can dress this up. You could dress it down, make it sexy, make it business casual. Like there's so many ways you could style this. So it's basically just a white collar top, like very simple. Yesterday I actually wore it with like these flowy pants and everybody was complimenting me. I'll show a picture right here. That's what I was wearing yesterday. 
and yeah that's why i like this top it was like five bucks and i feel like i'm gonna wear this a lot even if it was like 14 i probably still would have bought it just because it's a very simple top that you can just wear with anything so yeah sorry i know the angle switched up but i forgot to show you guys the rings that i thrifted i got this one right here this one here and this one here and i paid a total of 12 dollars for those three rings which is not bad like if you go to forever 21 you're probably paying like 18 dollars for two and they're shit so i'm not mad at these anyways guys that concludes my thrift haul my thrift with me video if you guys like these please 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 let me know because i really enjoy doing these and the more views i get on these the more money i make which means that money i could take and i could respend it and reinvest it into some more clothing of course doing it for the people not for the wardrobe so let me know if you like it and engage with it if you do comment like subscribe all that i appreciate you guys watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye guys